Have you ever heard of a material strong enough to, like, support a car? But it's so light you could pick it up with one hand. Hmm, sounds pretty intriguing. Well, get this, it's called aluminum foam, and today we're doing a deep dive into this wild material. It's pretty amazing stuff. You know, it's already changing the game in industries like construction and uh, automotive, but it has the potential to be even more revolutionary. Yeah, I mean, no more super heavy materials, I'm in. But how does this even work? What makes it so different from like regular aluminum? Okay, well imagine regular aluminum is like a solid block, right? Yeah, yeah. Aluminum foam is more like a, a metallic sponge. Hmm. It's made by injecting air into molten aluminum. So it's got all these little bubbles in it. Yeah, exactly. It creates this network of, of tiny bubbles trapped inside the metal. Okay, so it's like bubbly aluminum. That sounds pretty cool. But how does that make it, you know, stronger and lighter? It's all about the structure. The bubbles create this uh, cellular structure, oh. and that gives it an incredible strength to weight ratio. So it's strong, but super light. Yeah, some types are actually as strong as steel, but way lighter. Wow, okay. I'm starting to see why this stuff is such a big deal. Mm. But there's more to it than just strength and weight, right? Oh, absolutely. Aluminum foam is also amazing at absorbing energy. Like, what do you mean? Well, think about those bubbles again. They act like tiny little shock absorbers. Oh, that makes sense. So it's really good for applications where safety is super important. Like in cars. Could it help make them safer in a crash? Exactly. And not just cars. Think about aerospace, too. <laughs> Every gram of weight they can save during launch saves a ton of money. That's wild. So we've got cars, planes. What about everyday stuff? Where else are we seeing this aluminum foam being used? It's being used in some pretty surprising ways. Like what? Well, did you know the Fondazione Prada Museum in Milan uses aluminum foam panels on its facades? So it's not just functional. It can be, like, aesthetically cool, too. Yeah, it's got this unique texture that architects love. Plus, remember those sound-absorbing bubbles? Right. They make it great for places where you need good acoustics. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so this stuff is really versatile. But let's be real. Mm. How expensive is this? Can everyday people afford it? That's a good question. It is true that producing aluminum foam can be pricier than traditional materials. Okay, yeah, I was thinking that. But you have to consider its unique properties and the long-term benefits it offers. So what are we talking about long-term? Well, think about durability. Aluminum foam is incredibly resistant to things like corrosion and wear and tear, so it doesn't need as much maintenance, mm. and it lasts way longer. So in the long run, it could actually save you money. Potentially, yeah. Hmm, I like that. But how about sustainability? Is this an eco-friendly material? Absolutely. It's primarily made from recycled aluminum. And guess what? You can recycle it again at the end of its life cycle. So good for the planet, good for your wallet. This is sounding more and more appealing by the minute. I'm starting to sound like a fanboy here. Well, it's certainly a material with a lot to offer. Yeah, for sure. We've talked about its strength, its lightness, the shock absorbing capabilities, but I have a feeling we're only scratching the surface here. What about the future of aluminum foam? Where could this technology take us? That's where things get really exciting. I mean, we've talked about its current applications, but its potential goes way beyond that. Researchers are looking into how to use it to tackle some of our biggest global challenges. Okay, I'm all ears. Like, what kind of challenges? Well, for starters, energy efficiency. You know, buildings use a huge amount of energy, right? Yeah, for sure. And a big chunk of that energy gets lost because of, like, bad insulation, right? and aluminum foam with that unique structure could really change that. So you're saying we could use this stuff to create better insulation? Yeah, imagine aluminum foam panels lining the walls and roofs of buildings. Okay, yeah. Those little air pockets we talked about. Right, the bubbles. Exactly. They act as these amazing insulators. They create a thermal barrier that keeps heat in during the winter and out during the summer. Ooh, so warmer homes in the winter, cooler homes in the summer, and lower energy bills. I'm liking this. Yeah, exactly. And it's not just about, you know, individual comfort. More energy efficient buildings mean we rely less on fossil fuels. And that means a smaller carbon footprint, win-win. So we've got energy. What other problems could this aluminum foam help us with? Let's talk transportation. Okay. We're always trying to make vehicles more fuel efficient, right? Yeah, definitely. And aluminum foam could play a big part in that. I'm curious how. 
How could it make cars and planes more efficient? Remember that awesome strength to weight ratio? Yeah, yeah. By using aluminum foam and vehicle components, we can make things much lighter without losing strength. Oh, okay, I get it. So lighter vehicles use less energy to move, which means better fuel efficiency. Exactly. And if you combine that weight saving with, you know, the safety benefits of aluminum foam, you can imagine a future where transportation is not just more sustainable, but also safer. Okay, you've sold me on it being a solution for energy and safety concerns. Yeah. But what about really cutting edge technologies? Like, are scientists looking at any super futuristic applications for this stuff? Definitely. One area that's really interesting is using aluminum foam in batteries and solar panels. Wait, hold on. Aluminum foam batteries? Solar panels? How would that even work? It's about pushing the limits of efficiency. With batteries, the intricate structure of aluminum foam could totally change energy storage. So imagine a battery where the increased surface area from the foam lets it charge faster. Okay. And it could hold way more energy. So like electric cars that can fully charge in like minutes instead of hours. Exactly. And that's not all. Researchers are also looking at how aluminum foam could improve solar panels. Really? Yeah. The way it handles heat could lead to better energy conversion. Which means more power from the sun. So we've gone from futuristic buildings and cars to like super efficient batteries and solar panels. This material really does seem like it could change everything. But are there any like downsides? What's holding it back from being used everywhere? That's a great question. You know, while it offers incredible possibilities, no material is perfect, right? True. One of the main hurdles right now is scalability. Scalability. What do you mean? So producing it on a large scale and at a cost that makes sense for you know everyday use is still a challenge. The manufacturing process is pretty complex. Because of those bubbles. Yeah, it requires a lot of control and expertise. The good news is that you know researchers and companies are working hard to figure out more efficient and cost-effective ways to make it. So it's not a deal breaker, more like a speed bump. Exactly. Another thing is that aluminum foam, even though it's strong, can be a bit brittle compared to solid aluminum. Ah, so maybe not the best choice for stuff that needs to bend a lot. That's right. But researchers are looking for ways to make it tougher without sacrificing its other great qualities. It sounds like they're always trying to make it better, you know, pushing the boundaries of what this material can do. Definitely. It just shows you how innovative material science can be. It's a constant process of discovery and trying new things. And it's that dedication to, you know, finding new possibilities that makes aluminum foam so exciting to study. Yeah, it definitely seems like more than just a cool new material. It could really change industries, help us solve some global problems. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, let's recap what we've learned today. What are some of the most important things we've learned about aluminum foam? So we've really dug deep into this whole aluminum foam thing today. Yeah, it's more than just a, a metallic sponge, right? Right. It's got these incredible properties, and it's being used in some surprising ways. And then on top of all that, it could even help us solve some pretty big problems. It really shows you how material science keeps pushing the boundaries. Like, who knew this stuff could be so revolutionary? We started by talking about that amazing strength-to-weight ratio, like making cars lighter so they use less fuel. And in space, every gram counts, right? I'm sure. But then it's also a fantastic shock absorber because of that cellular structure. So... It's not just about making things lighter, it's about making them safer, too. And then there's the whole sustainability angle. I mean, it's made from recycled aluminum and you can recycle it again. That's pretty huge. Yeah, it's a win-win. Good for the planet, good for performance. Yes. And then, talking of the future, we got into some really mind-blowing stuff. Like, imagine aluminum foam batteries and solar panels. Yeah, the possibilities are really exciting and we're really just getting started. I know, it's like we're on the edge of a material revolution and this aluminum foam is leading the way. But of course, there are still some challenges, like we need to figure out how to make it more affordable and easier to produce on a large scale. Exactly, and there's always room for improvement, like making it less brittle. But scientists are working on all of that, right? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, they're constantly experimenting, pushing the limits of what this material can do. So it sounds like the story of aluminum foam is far from over. Yeah, it's just the beginning. Who knows what they'll be able to do with it in the future. Well, that's all the time we have for today's deep dive into aluminum foam. It's been a fascinating journey, and we hope you've learned as much as we have. Yeah, it's definitely a material to keep an eye on. So as we sign off, we want to leave you with something to think about. How could aluminum foam play a role in your own world? Maybe it inspires you to think differently about the materials we use every day. 
or maybe it sparks an idea for a completely new application.